안녕하세요 여러분 Welcome to Sophia y o u s Kitchen uh, Today we're going to make a Korean side dish 반찬, stir fry, anchovies, uh, 멸치볶음 in Korean uh, You know what? The anchovy has a lot of calcium and vitamin D to make your bones strong and good for your skin And with any nuts, the stir fried anchovies can be the perfect side dishes for the nutrition So why don't you make stir fried anchovies for your family and for yourself So recipe is super easy and I will give you important tips to make the most delicious and creepiest anchovies without fish smell So let's get started Step 1. Cutting First, sift up the dust and impurities of the anchovies by using strainer. Dust and the impurities make food look unclean, so it's better to remove it. Second, slice 4 cloves of the garlic thinly. Third, cut walnuts into half size to be similar size to the anchovies. Any nuts go well with the anchovies because the uh, nuts has the potassium which helps the sodium come out of the anchovies. Uh, today I'm going to use the walnuts but you can use any kinds of nuts like almonds or pine nuts. Step 2. Stirring First, fry the walnuts in a pan over the low heat without putting oil first. In this way, you can make walnuts more crispy and remove the bad smell of the nuts. And because nuts can be burnt easily, so please stay low heat and stir them well for one or two minutes till the roasting smell is aromatic. And then set aside. Second, put one tablespoon of oil or butter on the same pan over the low heat and add sliced garlic and stir them until the garlic becomes brown. And garlic is also used for eliminating the fish smell. Third, put anchovies in it and stir them over the low heat until the anchovies become brown color and crispy. It'll be about 2 or 3 minutes. Here's the first tip. Uh, there are many ways to remove the fish smell of the anchovies. For example, just frying the anchovies without oil first or putting a lot of oils and frying them. But in my recipe, uh, just you don't need to put a lot of oil or you don't need to spend extra time to fry them. Just by putting one tablespoon of oil or butter to fry them and you can remove the fish smell. But today I don't have butter in my house so I just use only oil. But if you have butter, it's better to use them because the protein called xine in the dairy products like butter or milk, they can remove fish smell better. Fourth, add the walnuts to them. Fifth, gather the anchovies around the corner and in one side of the pan, pour one tablespoon of oligo syrup or starch syrup and one tablespoon of cooking wine and boil them for a while to mix them well by tilting the pan over the medium-high heat. And if the sauce is melted enough, mix anchovies quickly and evenly for a short time. It's like a coating process. Ta-da! Here's second tip. In my recipe, I don't put any soy sauce or salt because the anchovy itself is already salty. So if you put soy sauce, it becomes too salty. That means you have to put more sweet things like sugar or syrup to balance the taste. So in my recipe, I just use the oligo syrup or starch syrup. However, saltiness of the anchovies varies among the products. So you can try just dried anchovy first and then you can decide on whether you can put soy sauce or not. If it is not salty at all, just put a little bit soy sauce in it. If you want more sweetness, you can put one tablespoon of syrup. 
Uh, actually, we use Jira to make the anchovy look shiny. But if you don't have them, you can just use sugar instead. But there is a disadvantage because sugar doesn't make the anchovy look shiny or they don't stick to each other uh, compared to other sugar. And there is another tip, if you don't have cooking oil, you can just put one teaspoon of vinegar instead. It can also completely remove the fish smell. Fourth, if the anchovies look shiny, then turn up the heat and sprinkle the sesame seeds. Fifth, when it is cooled, you can put anchovies in an airtight container and preserve it in the refrigerator. It is so delicious side dish banchan. And tomorrow it becomes more crispy and stick to each other thanks to the oligo syrup. Tada! This is the most delicious and creepiest anchovies in the world. To summarize to make the most delicious and the creepiest anchovies is that we have to uh, remove the fish smell and the balance the sweetness and saltiness. So to remove the fish smell, we use the garlic and butter or oil or vinegar or the cooking wine. And to balance the sweetness and saltiness, we don't use the soy sauce. Instead, just put one tablespoon of or two tablespoon of olive syrup or starch syrup to look shiny and more crispy. So if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, your inspiring feedback makes Sophia emo days. Yay! <laughs> So see you next time. Annyeong!